Hello everyone, I hope you are well. Today we are going to make a, a new version of the Tartatin with the Sablé Breton. So we will start with the Sablé Breton. First, we will soften the butter at the pomade stage in order to cream it with the sugar. So once the butter has no more lumps, we are adding the sugar and cream both together. Then we add the egg yolk and once well mixed we are adding all the dry ingredients the flour The salt, pinch of salt, and the baking powder. We take the scraper in order to combine all ingredients. And if it's a little bit too dry, we might add a little bit of the egg whites to help binding the sable breton. On the table to make sure that it's well mixed and homogene. put it in blast chiller to go quicker, but we can as well leave it longer into a fridge. In the meantime, we will make dry caramel. During the meantime, we can as well prepare our apples. So we peel the apples. For one tanta, we will use from eight to ten apples to fill up the Moule a manquer.
So it's important not to overheat the caramel in order not to have the acidity related to overheating it. So reason why I'm moving all the time the caramel to dissolve all the crystals that are in it. So it's important to have a caramel that is not too colored, but where all the sugar crystal have been dissolved. So at the end, you see I'm removing from the stove just to make sure that it's not getting any bitter taste. So once all the crystals are dissolved, we are pouring the caramel into the Genoise form or moula manqué. And we will let it set a little bit before we add the apple. So once it's cut, we will display the apple, the outside face on the side of the caramel, and we slightly slide it for a nicer presentation. Press on it. And then we put the other apples faces out. and we press a little bit on it. Then we display the butter that will actually help to have the apples to stick together.
and we put some big chunks. on the top, which we mil melt into the foam. So we display on the baking sheets, on the baking tray, and then we put at 185 for 30 minutes. So we put the cream the milk We put a little bit of the sugar in order to avoid to attach on the bottom of the pan. And we are going to add some vanilla pot. the cream and milk with vanilla. So we add the rest of the sugar, blanch it. with the egg yolks. Once sugar has dissolved, and our milk is boiling, we are going to temper the egg yolks and the sugar with half of the milk. And we will cook alanap, our English custard. So we pour half of the liquid to temper the egg butter. Then we reduce slightly our cooking stove to push our soul slowly. So usually this takes uh, from two to five minutes according to your heat. It's better to cook it slowly to avoid overcooking the English custard. Normally, one prepare on the side a uh, sieve 
and a bowl in order to remove from the cooking pan the sauce as soon as the temperature is rich. So usually while the foam is disappearing, it's an indication that our sauce is close to be cooked. So we should feel normally while moving the maris that the sauce is getting thicker and thicker. So once I have reached the thickness which I'm looking for, I should not overcook it, otherwise I would get some scrambled eggs. Then we pour it immediately through the sieve in order to remove the shallots. And if slightly overcooked, some parts of egg that might have been overcooked. Then in order to cool it in a better condition, we put it on the ice bath during the cooling time. It is also essential that the sauce cool rapidly to avoid this uh, high risk zone which is from 65 degrees to 5 degrees. So that's also the reason why we put it on ice bath to cool it as quick as possible. To avoid adding flour, we can roll it also in between two papers. And we keep control of the size. With the, we'll have a 22 centimeter tart ring. bit in the cold to remove the papers. Continuing to cool our sauce.
and we will remove the top paper. We will bake the Breton also in an oven of 180 degrees. So the, after half an hour, our apple tata is ready. If you want to have a little bit more color, you can still bake it 10 more minutes. And we are going to let it rest until it sets. So it might take uh, three to four hours. So this is always best to have it done a little bit earlier in order to be able to remove it from the foam easily. So after three to four hours, our tata has set. Also, it has reduced into the form. And we are going to unmold it. So we take our breton. We put it on the apples, then we turn our mold. We heat the foam in order for the caramel to melt. and to be able to remove the tart easily. So we have a beautiful tartata. And we are now going to present it on the plate. So we take a plate that has been previously cleaned. We might make sure that it is again spotless. So this should be done before the service. And then we cut our tart tata. In eight. and present one slice we display also our english custard so to see that the english custard has been well cooked a la nap you take the spoon and it should cover the spoon without running from the spoon. So 
So we put a generous part of vanilla sauce. We can as well put the vanilla beans for presentation to make it a bit more elegant, simple and elegant. Bon appétit.